is the reference from Pixabay for waterfall. And I'm going to begin with some masking. Here is uh, the drawing that I put in. And my choice for masking will be to mask, I believe these are tea plants, the tea flowers, the leaves, and the water itself. And we can see how that's uh, drawn out here. I think the rest of it can just be put in as general um, ink with green and purple and maybe some browns. But I would like to have some clear color under these parts. So we'll start with masking. Eggplant, teak wood, meadow, botanical, and sandal. And I'm going to just drop them in on the paper and probably use the cotton ball to pick up any excess. I'll try to follow the lines of the uh, reference photo as I place this on very carefully here. And we'll let that dry flat. Now that the ink is dry, I'm going to remove the masking fluid. Now that the masking fluid is off, it's time to start building a landscape. And I think I'll start with the darks. This is some eggplant I'm putting in the weld palette. And we really kind of need to, to build up this area or push it back so that we have a waterfall coming out. So I think I'll do a combination of kind of lifting to bring out the rocky area and putting in some darks to um, push back the forest. So this is the brush and alcohol. This is the eggplant. I want to keep a lot of the natural greens that look like foliage in here. So I'm going to try to work within the space of those leaves, or what could be leaves. I'm going to use the alcohol and the brush and lift out a tree shape. This is some citrus and I'm going to put in uh, the leaves here, just a base coat of them. And I'll do the same with the uh, tea flowers. This is poppy field. Now that we have things sort of laid out, we need to have it make sense. It still um, kind of looks like nothing at the moment. So I'm going to take the pointy swab and some alcohol and lift out uh, more of this rocky area where the waterfall is. There's also a lot of uh, light green leaves through here, so I'm going to do some lifting and then add in some uh, lighter values. Well, actually, we'll see what I can get just by lifting. That would be easier.
I'm gonna run a cotton swab with alcohol through the water. And we'll probably end up putting some snow cap in here. I wanna soften some of it. I'd like to create some much darker values through here. So this is the uh, teak wood, and I'm gonna put it where the eggplant was. And so it should create a very dark mix between those two colors. This is some cool Perry. I'm going to use it to tone some of the um, whites and the rocks through here. This is some bottle, and I'm going to use it for some of the darker values in the green leaves here. I've got a long ways to go on these leaves, but just begin to get some color in. This is a little bit of dandelion that I put right next to the bottle, so I'm getting kind of a very yellow green. I'm going to dab it in. To some of the lifted areas here. This is a uh, pale brown marker. I'm going to use it to do a little bit of sketching through here. This is the snow cap. I'm going to go ahead and add some of it into our waterfall. So before I begin to uh, work on these tea plants, I want to do something to this background through here. As we can see in the picture, it's full of random green foliage. And I think it might look better if I just put in some uh, darker texture and hopefully then the uh, leaves of this plant will just pop up. So the way I'm going to approach that is to use the makeup sponge and this combination of teak wood eggplant and just dab in some darker uh, modely background through here and i may end up putting some more foliage back in but at least it'll be kind of uh, purple brown and the green leaves should show up against it a little bit more of that texture through this foliage as well. Thinking this part wasn't a good plan. So this is citrus. We'll just add back some more leaves here. get one more layer of darker green in before I start lifting. So this is uh, it's a bottle and I'm going to put it back where that 
teak wood combination was. And should make a very dark green. I just need some, a little bit darker. Any of this is, of these leaves are actually very light. I just want to uh, have something dark in here before I start to lift. Now I'm going to lift the leaves out with the cotton swab and alcohol. I'm also going to lift some lights out of the uh, blossoms. This is uh, citrus, and I'm just going to go back and brush some ink through some of these areas that I lifted. This is a little bit of eggplant. I'm going to use that for some of the darker values in the uh, flowers. I pass around with the cotton swab and do a little bit more lightning. And even if this area will still have more snow cap on it, I still want it as light as possible underneath that first. This is back in the foliage area, and I'm going to add some much more uh, bright leaves back through here. But I do need to take out some of the ink first. to use the uh, makeup sponge and this is dandelion. Let's see if we can just dab in some brighter colors through here. This is the brush and alcohol. I'm just going to make some tiny dots through the area we just added on. I'm going to take another pass with the snow cap. This is the sepia pen, and I'm going to use it to define some of these edges in the tea leaves and around. And then I'll come back and add more color into these leaves or these flowers.
I think I overly tightened some of these lines. So I'm going to find some green ink here and just kind of soften through some of the pen lines. back through with some more poppy field and just pop a little bit some of this color I'm gonna work on the leaves some more and I'm going to add in some pistachio and some more citrus this is the pistachio Use the pistachio and just dab in some color around. This is the citrus. I'm going to do a little lifting, and this uh, spot is just way too dark. And a little lifting in the flowers too. This is an orange marker, and just want to add a little bit of variation into the reds here. And I'll just add a little bit of orange in the painting too. This is a tiny bit of snow cap. I'm going to kind of go over this little area that I lifted. I'm going to do some splattering with the pinata brass and I've covered uh, some key features up with the little torn pieces of paper. Just do a little bit of um, highlighting with the white pen. And a little bit with the black pen. 